For thousands of years, man lived by the power of the horse. Horsepower was not only a word, it was a fact, a force, a necessity, and a unit of measurement. But now that we're in the nuclear age and no longer need horsepower, it's fading away into memory, along with other discarded, dusty, and outdated devices like windmills, gaslight, and steam engines. Part of our past. The harness that men designed that horses might serve them hangs in sad disuse. of the parts forgotten. Leather, steel and brass fashioned into shapes that even children once knew but which would baffle them now. Throat lash, winkers, martingale, hames, terret, tug, cropper. As horsepower disappears so does its richly useful language. It was on the land that horsepower was supreme for the greatest length of time. Man fashioned implements to till the soil and horses pulled them. Now, scrapped, they gather only crops of dust and rust. The very landscape of Britain was shaped by horses as men used them to clear the forests and bring light and air to the earth to make it produce food. Horses made the patterns and shapes and colours of the fields that still bring simple delight to the eye. Horses tilled the land with plough and harrow as crops were grown to the natural rhythm of the seasons. Infinitely patient and gently powerful, they marked the slow tempo of rural life with their great and careful hooves to plough and sow and reap and mow. And every summer, when the corn was ripe, the horses trod the fields to reap the harvest that grew in the furrows that they had ploughed. For many hundreds of years, they were an indispensable part of the land on which they toiled. As they worked, they made the land richer, and when the crops were safely in, men and horses knew that fresh haystacks and full barns would sustain them through the winter until spring came and it was time to sow again. At harvest Thanksgiving festivals, men were truly grateful that they and their horses had provided once again. As the harvest hymn proclaimed in a thousand village churches, we plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. With the help of horses, they might have added, Horsepower would have remained the principal power on British farms for far longer had it not been for World War II, when suddenly the leisurely pace was made to quicken in the urgency of conflict. An extra six million acres of land had to go under the plough in order to feed the nation in wartime. And although nearly 200,000 tractors were brought into use, the horse was still widely used. However, it was certainly not helped by the government, which allowed rations of fodder for horses in work, but permitted no provision for breeding new stock. 
prized stallions and brood mares were taken from the farms and sent to the knackers, many to become horsemeat for humans. By the end of the war, the tractors were taking over. But just when it seemed that working horses were forgotten, they began, a little over 20 years ago, to enjoy a revival. Now they're thriving and working. This is one of the famous Whitbread shires that have done so much to reawaken enthusiasm for the heavy horse. The shire really is horsepower. In weight and height, it's the greatest purebred horse in the world. Its ancestors carried English knights into battle. The Shire has a proud lineage. And the pride is reflected in polish. Among men who work with heavy horses, it's unthinkable that they should ever look anything but their beautiful best. Heavy horses in Britain fall into four main breeds. The Shire, the Clydesdale, the Suffolk, and the Percheron. They're all formidably famous, and their progeny are valued all over the world. The men who judge them at competitions, shows, and parades could never, of course, mistake one breed of heavy horse for another. For the general public, though, it is a bit difficult. A shire, for example, can be black, brown, bay, or gray. And the Suffolk may be seven different shades of chestnut. So perhaps it's best simply to enjoy the majestic presence of these mighty and willing creatures and remember just one fact about them. They all weigh about a ton and can pull five. That's horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> 